Niall Domena is the CEO of Mana Molecular. And one of the cool things I learned about this company recently is that within Mana is another company called Vela. And it has a lot to do with products geared towards women and in particular, women and their sexuality. And I'm gonna turn it over to Niall because Niall, you were telling me about some of the research that Mana had done. And that's really kind of what sets Mana Molecular apart, in my opinion, is that this is a company that really heavily focuses on the science and science, and they let the science take them, you know, wherever that goes. Tell me how Absolutely. Vela came about. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, Vela came about. We were looking for a second product. Um, we did patches first, and that's a very niche product. Um, you know, very high barrier to entry and requires specialized knowledge. And we liked that method and we wanted to apply it to whatever our second product would be. And I had the good fortune of being asked to sponsor an event um, in LA. And I said, yes. And they had the former uh, head of the FDA, David Kessler there. And the host was this doctor, uh, Dr. Heron Padmanathan. And uh, as he was recruiting me for a uh, uh, investment, I, I mean, just to sponsor, you know, sponsor his event, um, I got to talking with him and really liked him and just said, hey, you've had a, a really amazing background. What do you think about, you know, cannabinoids in, in women and sex? And, um, you know, he was kind of interested in it. And the more I talked to him, the more I kind of convinced him that this would be a good idea. And um, I eventually ended up recruiting him to the company. And we agreed to uh, follow the same development pathway of Viagra and Cialis, two drugs that he was the principal investigator for. And um, lo and behold, we found um, in a organ bath study that there is a dose response relationship to CBD and smooth muscle tissue relaxation in the vagina. And from there, we got really excited because that's the same pathway that uh, all these other drugs work for. And we went on to test it in 30 women, had a 90% success rate of, across four orgasm outcome measures and a 60% success rate a, 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 across uh, two arousal measures. And this is a clinically validated instrument, which we modified for our purpose. And, um, and then we tested it in, in a population of women that were taking um, different uh, antidepressants. And um, we found out that 100% of them were able to orgasm after they were not able to orgasm since going on their drugs. So all of those things combined made us really excited um, to, to move forward. And one really cool thing that we're going to do more of is this uh, uh, photo uh, plethysmography study where you look at temperature and electrical response um, using probes. Uh, and this is from Nicole Prousey's lab. So she's featured in a lot of articles. Um, and we have a relationship with her. So um, we got an N of one on that, and that was very positive too. So um, through every indicator uh, we, you know, we took, we tried to disprove it, and we just kept getting better and better responses. And so this is a, a topical product, correct? Yeah, so we're calling it a, a women's pleasure serum, and it's a topical pre-placed serum for arousal and orgasm. So the idea is you put it on uh, 20, 20 or so minutes before you have any sexual activity and it causes relaxation uh, down there. And that allows uh, in enhanced uh, sensation and engorgement. And these are hallmarks of a uh, good, good sexual experience. You know, for maybe our readers that aren't as familiar with Mana Molecular, could you maybe talk a little bit about uh, the company and the other products because I I know them but I just don't think maybe our readers are as familiar with your company. Sure. Well, um, I think that'll change pretty soon. Uh, we're in about twelve markets. Um, we do some white labeling, although we're we're really moving towards a strictly brand uh, play because we've gotten the recognition that we've gotten. Um, but we we make transdermal patches and we developed a. Um, a method where our business licensees and people that are state licensed can basically uh, kit our patches, take their extract and apply it at the point of production and create a very high quality repeatable product that's the same across every state. Um, so while in California, we are selling patches under Papa and Barclay's name, 
um, in a state like Ohio were under our own name and, and that's more common than not. So in about nine of the 12 were under our own name. We've got about three white labels and um, you know, right now, in fact, um, we just released a, a speed tab, which is a sublingual tablet that if, you know, onset is very quick and we think it's, we're, we think of it as an ultra fast edible. Um, and we think that that category, uh, you know, people, these, these units of gummies, um, you know, they, they're a great package for this, but I think a, a, a fast tablet that tastes good. Um, and that's another thing we wanted to do is we're using naturally extracted terpenes um, and, and adding really cool flavors and effects to these. So, you know, there's something that you can use during the daytime to focus. Um, we're making a CBN version, which we've gotten really, really good uh, feedback on that to help people fall asleep. And I know COVID has really messed with people's uh, sleep patterns. Um, and we also have a CBD version and we'll be making different um, ratios because it's, it's a fast acting tablet and it lasts for about 60 to 90 minutes. So you can use it to get high, you can use it to treat, treat your pain or inflammation with CBD, or you can use it to go to bed uh, with CBN. And that's, that's something that I, I've been using really recently. And it's, uh, it's certainly nice to have in your toolkit. Well, I, I really like the idea about the, uh, the fast onset because that's always been the, the real tricky thing with edibles for, for people. Uh, you don't know whether it's going to take an effect in a half hour, an hour. It's really hard to plan around that. Um, in the offset too, not to interrupt, but it, it's the offset to me has always been the most important because, hey, I want my experience, but I don't necessarily want to, you know, I've got to go somewhere in three hours or four hours. And, you know, I think everybody right now is, uh, you know, you know, they've got multiple Zoom calls. You're at home. Everybody knows that you're at home. Uh, so they're, they're more likely to call you at night or at odd hours because you got nowhere, you know, you're not going to be out. Um, and so I think having something that, you know, can fit into somebody's schedule, um, you know, really nicely, you could watch your favorite TV show. And by the time the show's over, the effect's over. So that's kind of how we, we thought about it is, is that there's these really discrete periods of time when, you know, you'd like to be able to switch it on and switch it off. And for, for people that don't like vaping um, and given all the vape related, um, you know, injuries we've been seeing lately, um, you know, that's not going to go away. Inhalables are a big part of the, the cannabis market. And, and, you know, we understand that. But I do think that people are looking for different uh, methodologies. And there has been an incredible shift towards edibles in, in this year specifically. And we think that there is room to uh, play in that space. We feel like we're trending up. And uh, our investors feel the same way too. But we certainly welcome other people um, and other perspectives. And other investors, you know, we'd like to we'd like to get bigger as a company. Uh, we'd like to do more deals with uh, MSOs that we have, and and expand into states with with players that we already work with. Um, so all of those things require capital and operational overhead. But um, I think we've got the platform technologies to expand to add new new terpenes, new experiences in our patches and our speed tabs, and we have a beverage powder coming out in about three months too. Um, and, and again, I think we're really more recreational focused than we were before. And um, ideally consumers will really benefit from that. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with us at Green Market Report. Um, I was super excited when I heard all this stuff about Vela and I really, really wanted to bring that to our readers' attention and our viewers on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel now. It's free. And now, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to keep our eye on Man and Molecular. I, I appreciate it. And you're one of my favorite interviewees. So uh, uh, thank you and uh, appreciate the time.